Hi, my name is Steve. Welcome to another Mind Bomb training session. And um, this time we're in quick tips. I believe it's quick tips number eight. Um, I'm talking about my rule of three P's. Um, so the idea, do not let perfection prevent progress. Um, the idea is really just to remind everybody that it can be very easy to become hung up on the smallest thing, um, which can actually stop you taking action and moving forward. Um, so if you're launching a new um, range of clothes, um, would you really want to wait until you've got the, the last little swing tag um, before you can actually get them into your shop? Um, reality is you're not going to wait weeks for, for one small little thing. What you need to do is get them in, see if the customers like it, um, and hopefully see whether they sell. Hopefully they'll start to sell. Um, and then you can catch up with the, uh, the little, little details, really, the small details that... Um, uh, in some people, it can seem like a big deal um, and it can actually hold them back. But um, uh, really, you need to, to actually um, progress. You've got to move forward and then everything else can follow in behind. So here are my quick tips on how to beat that perfectionism. Um, tip number one, and um, this is good for a, a lot of things, actually, but think about the longer term. Um, really, when you're, when you're doing the planning, you've got to... Um, put things in perspective and make sure that you're actually thinking longer term rather than everything about the, the short term, what's going to happen that day. Um, really, once you're six months down the line, are you going to remember uh, that you didn't have the, the swing tickets for the, the, the new product launch of your clothing range? I don't think so. Um, if they've sold great, then even if they're a week, if the swing tickets were a, a week late, then I don't think that's going to be remembered. What will be remembered is that you've got the the design and the product through and customers love it and um, uh, it's generated new extra sales for you. So that's the thing is think about the longer term process. So quick tip number two is keep perspective on um, what's actually holding you. Um, again, it might just be a very small thing that um, you shouldn't really be focusing too much on. Um, what we've got to do is think about um, how quickly you can move forward. And if something's 90% of the way there, is um, often uh, enough to get the get the product out and um, get the customers buying it. You know that's the real test is whether customers are going to um, enjoy your service or your product, and um, whether you, they'll actually come back and uh, buy from you again. So keep things in perspective when you're actually looking at these things. Quick tip number three is be confident that your quality will improve over time. So if you're just launching a new business or launching a new product, the likelihood is um, that it won't be your best version of that product. In 12 months time, two years time, there's every um, chance that um, whatever you've launched will be improved and will be built on. And um, over a period of time, then you should be confident that you're going to be able to build that quality as you go. And um, yeah, that keeps things in perspective then when you realize over that um, longer time frame. And quick tip number four is to sometimes think of a, um, a new product or even a new business um, as being a testing ground, whether um, in your own mind it means that you're actually working everything through and getting the mistakes out of the system um, in order to be able to finalise what you're then going to go on to do. Um, so if that makes sense, if you can um, just think of it in your own mind um, of a new product launch, new business launch, really as a test bed, as a test ground for what you want to do in the in the longer run. Um, obviously, you need to get all the feedback. You need to make sure that you can actually um, uh, improve and make sure that everything else is ready as you go forward. But um, really think in your own mind um, about a, a testing bed, testing ground for things. And quick tip number five is to embrace the, the fail fast um, philosophy. So the idea that, um, uh, I think it's a um, Silicon Valley thing again, um, where you can actually um, uh, get a new product or new business out to market as quickly as possible so that you're actually burning less cash in doing it. Um, and also you're getting the feedback from the customer much more quickly. So it might not be perfect. It might not be the full and final version, um, but really the quicker that you get it in front of the, um, the customer, the better. Um, so even if you, you find out that the product isn't a goer, you're going to find out more quickly. And that means that you'll lose less money in, um, in getting the thing off the ground. 
um, and you'll get the feedback from the customer all the sooner. So yeah, think about the fail fast. Yeah, I hope these uh, quick tips can help you um, embrace that idea of messy progress um, so that you can get out there and just get on with it instead of waiting for 100% perfect conditions. It's almost like waiting for the, uh, the perfect weather. Um, it never really comes. You've just got to get on with it and uh, get the thing underway and then do the best that you can with the, the conditions that you're faced with. So, uh, yeah, hopefully that's um, helpful. And um, thank you for watching. I look forward to seeing you next time for um, more on the business quick tips. Thank you.